Hey, my name is Nathan Brandt. Today we're here at Coal Ironworks in Anderson, Indiana, and we're gonna take a look at our 12, 16, 25, and 60 ton H-frames, comparing the speed between the presses as well as the power pack speed between each individual model. So on a 12 ton, we'll see the two and five horsepower. On the 16 and 25, we'll see the two and five and 10 horsepower. And on the 60 ton, we'll do a five and 10 horsepower. So stay tuned and we'll get all of these variations before your eyes so you can decide which press is a best fit for your needs. Thank you. Is that great? All right. So first we're gonna take a look at our 12 ton press. Now this is mounted to one of our coal carts uh, with a single shelving unit that allows you to put all of your tooling, dies, assorted knickknacks uh, right below and keep them in one spot and out of the way. Uh, we do have this mounted with a DPC. Now today we're gonna be testing all of the presses with DPCs because that allows us to control some of the additional parameters and make sure that all of the testing specs are matched between the machines. So the 12 ton has a six inch stroke whereas the larger presses will have an eight inch stroke as well. You've only got eight inches of clearance side to side between the frame members. On the larger presses that continues up from uh, eight inches to start all the way up to 14 inches on the 60 ton. So as the stroke increases and the tonnage increases we wanted to give you more room for larger stuff, but you've got one and a half inches by three inches of die surface. That's our full width flat die that we've got on there right now. So the stroke speed on a 12 ton with a two horsepower is three and a half inches per second. Now, when we upgrade that to a five horsepower, it's gonna roughly double that speed. However, keep in mind, as the flow increases, the line size, port size, and things like that don't increase. So there is some limitation to how far you can push it before the effectiveness is kind of reduced. So we're gonna set this up for a five inch stroke, set it to auto and let it run for three cycles. And you can compare that directly with the five horsepower, as well as we'll have a total overview of the press models with side by side comparison. So I'm gonna move over to auto mode and we're just gonna let this go for three complete cycles. So now we're gonna look at the 12 ton with a five horsepower power pack. I've got it connected using quick connects and an extended encoder lead so that I can power it from my 25 ton power pack. So using the five horsepower on the 12 ton with that speed, we're sitting right around seven inches per second. We try to push that beyond that. The port size and the hose size really won't allow the speed to increase beyond that. You'll just start to see a lot of heat and friction build up in the system. So that's why we capped the 12 ton at that five horsepower. There is definitely a speed increase, but at some point you really start to lose control. And I think that really depends on the work you're doing and the dies you're gonna be using in the press. But this is a great example to see what is capable. What, what it's capable of. So now we're gonna look at our 16 ton H-frame on a two horsepower. 
So this is moving roughly two inches per second, and uh, we'll do the five inch stroke with three cycles to show the speed and compare that from the two, the five, and the 10, and we'll also do a forging session with the five. Let's take a look. So now we're gonna look at our 2510H frame. We're gonna start with our two horsepower power pack. So I've got it connected to the power pack under our 12 ton, running that on that DPC. We're gonna run down, again, same thing, auto cycle, five inch stroke from top to bottom three times so you get a good feel for how fast this machine is. three inches per second. That is still a comfortable forging speed, but it's definitely slower than you're gonna want for efficient forging. So if you're doing production, anything like that, you're really gonna be conscientious about the speed, more so than uh, the tonnage even. But uh, we can jump this up to the five horsepower, and that's gonna take us from 1.3 to two and a half. So let's take a look at that. That's fine. As compared to the 12 ton down here. Okay, so now we're gonna put the 25 ton on our 10 horsepower. Same specs, we're gonna do five inch stroke and auto cycle for three cycles. So as you can see by the increase in speed, we've jumped now from two and a half up to five and a half inches per second. That is flying but that's gonna give you maximum tonnage with maximum speed. So we'll quickly take a look at what that looks like on a one inch square mild steel rod and if that changes, how much it's able to squish that material. That was a lot. So, because of that increased speed, the efficiency of it flowing the material out is dramatically improved. So, that's a great testament for why you might wanna upgrade your 25 uh, to a 10 horsepower. That's cute. Okay, so now we're gonna look at our 60 ton dual cylinder press on a five horsepower. That's gonna give you roughly 1.3 inches per second on the five horsepower. Uh, next, we'll do the 10 horsepower, which would get you to right around 2.5, 2.7, uh, which is a really nice forging speed. So we're gonna do a five inch stroke, and we're gonna do three cycles in auto mode on the DPC. All right, let's swap over to the 10 horsepower and see the difference.
you so much for joining us today for this video, really encompassing all of the press models that we offer, as well as the power packs and how the speed affects the efficiency of the tonnage and all the combinations. And uh, if you want some more information on anything that you've seen in this video, you can check out coaliron.com. You can also always reach out to us, info at coaliron.com, and uh, sign up for our newsletter for drops on the latest tooling, like our new coal cart within full accessory package. So thank you so much for joining us today. We look forward to seeing you again very soon. Au revoir.